One of my favorite things to do before I really dive into a slide is to just get myself prepared doing some rough sketches. I like to really plot my plan of attack before I start trying to figure things out using a tool. This is just a personal preference. I know a lot of UX designers feel similarly. They'll do kind of some rough rudimentary sketches or like basic wireframes before they go and put things into a computer. Really, I think that this is a fantastic exercise for everyone to do. So low fidelity. So that's really where I started. Um, I began with just some basic like white computer paper sketches over here and I put them up on my wall and ultimately I was able to take a photo. So let's take a peek at what that looks like over here. So this helps me just kind of imagine, okay, what is it that I'm ultimately like going to be creating? You can see over here, I've got five. It gives me enough of an idea of where I'm going. We mentioned the title slide as part of the exercise, right? So kind of a unique slide with a forward arrow. Um, some content slides in the middle. I just did three, even though I know ultimately we're moving towards seven. I was just trying to get an idea of what we were creating here. So um, we see that progress indicator that we've already seen those leaves, right? I'm really plotting those out. This image up here, this X really represents more um, an image that I'll eventually like drop in. Um, this reminds me a lot of InDesign if you've ever used that program. And then here down at the bottom, it's my sort of wrap up final slide, which is unique. And you can see I can only go back. I've got that back arrow there. So this is really rough, right? It's kind of like rough and quick and dirty, but it's a really great way to start to get organized and get your thoughts down on paper before you start diving into a program and then get really confused and overwhelmed with what your options are. So from here, you can go forward if you'd like and start to sort of envision some of the layouts. So this is kind of like more of a, a rough wireframe, something that's really simple. This isn't always something that we do as instructional designers. This is really more of a UX practice, but I, I liked it here. It, it helps me really kind of structure my entire slide so I can see, okay, graphically, what am I working with here? So I have you know, a few different boxes. They represent headings or subheadings, some kind of body here. And I have my buttons as well. So again, uh, X, gonna drop a photo in there. I've added some drop shadows here for my back and next buttons to indicate some type of interactivity there. So this is just a really nice way to kind of figure out, okay, before you dive in and you start putting things on screen, how much grid space are you working with? What does your canvas actually look like? And this helps you just kind of get a little bit organized in that way. So highly recommend doing this, especially if designing within a square grid like this is a little bit new for you, just to kind of feel out what your options are, what your layout types are, and what really might work for you.